Shalom, Shalom, brother back with truth. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Chachadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation, blessing to the Aki on pushing this word and truth and in sincerely risking your lives and freedom to do so now more so than ever. I'm your fellow servant, I'm Yad Yamaha, represent the GMS branch in Cleveland, here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel. Which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, you people of Negro and Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth from among the heathens to you. We say Shalom, out of one Ratzaz, but now we're This is an edifying lesson. It's going to be a quick, just a quick comment, commentation. Uh, uh, yeah, commentation, if that's the correct word, on this uh, video um, from YouTube. And of course, it's a TikTok video because that's where a lot of truth, you know, that's a, a, a TikTok is uncensored, you know, hey, because uh, who controls and who owns TikTok, the so-called Chinese, the Moabites, right? So they're, you know, this is their platform and they allow you to say whatever you want to say, whether it's about the the, the, the mandates, whether it's about the, you know, whether it's about the, 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 the serpent's brew. Right. No matter what it is, you know, and that's why a lot of people re 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 um, it's a it's a word that I'm thinking of. So lucky. But it is do right here. I just want to do a quick commentation on this uh, video, you know, bring out certain scriptures and certain points. And I'm um, the, the video is titled Thoughts Are Coming to Conclusion. And this is from the channel Taza Dot Zayan. Which I don't know which brother that is. Forgive me. I don't know if it's a brother that's in GMS or not, right? But that's besides the point because at the end of the day, it's, it's still all relations to prophecies that's found in the Holy Scriptures. It's still all relations to the things that's about to come upon the planet Earth, the plagues, right? The divine judgment, the the, the, the you know that's about to come upon the planet Earth. And why? Because, well, first and foremost, because of two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, Native, Seminole, Indians, y'all don't want to return unto the Heavenly Father. Y'all don't want to repent. All right? Y'all are too proud. So the Heavenly Father is about to humble two-thirds of our people in particular, but also as well as the heathen nations, in particular these Edomites, man. So I'm going to just play this and stop it when he makes certain points, and I'm going to bring out certain points in scriptures. Here any day to house and they're going to be forcing you to take a vaccine you know right and that's found in the scriptures because the heavenly father said that what uh in the book of sacred edges the 16th chapter i ain't gonna pull it but i'm gonna just quote scriptures the heavenly father said they shall be as madmen spare none roughly paraphrasing all right and who's going to be like these madmen these edomites right because they know that what they know that they have a short time they know that their rulership is coming to an abrupt halt it is it's coming to it's, it's, it's coming to an end so they have to scramble, right, to try to establish what? Their new world order, which consists of what? The MOTB, right? And this 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 um jab, the Yab, is just a it's just a it's a prelude into the MOTB, which is the mark the microchip, man. Okay. And the scripture says, right, in relation to what this individual says, says that they shall cast you out of your houses, roughly paraphrasing. So they're gonna start evicting a lot of people. All right, we, we spoke about the eviction moratorium and things of that nature, man. So that's going to become, um, you know, uh, uh, that's going to be made manifest. Right. While they're there, they're going to be taking your guns away from you. Right, they're going, because these Edomites, right, they're a bunch of cowards. They don't like for you to have the same uh, 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 scripture talk about that, and I believe that's the book of Joel. You know, that, that, uh, Beat their plowshares in the pruning hooks, roughly paraphrasing, but they don't want any resistance, man. They want to, they want as little resistance as possible. So that's why they're gonna start taking people guns. But guess what? They ain't gonna be able to get all the guns because guns they're gonna play a major role in prophecy, man. They're gonna play a major role in the prophecies that's about to be made manifest on the planet Earth, man. The scripture said, No one of these things shall fail, none shall want her mate. And what does the prophecy say about guns? The scripture said that. Uh, swords in their hands, roughly paraphrasing the uh, second edge of the 15th chapter. Okay, and the weapons they're going to be using are the most advanced weapons in the world. They have tanks, they have armored vehicles, 
they have bulletproof vests, they have drones, they have satellites. And guess who owns all that stuff? Right, and at the end of the day, those things are going to be to no avail because the Heavenly Father said in the book of Isaiah, the 59th chapter, the 19th verse, that he shall lift up a standard. And what is that standard going to consist of? He's going to give certain individuals of the nation of Israel, in particular the prophets, first and foremost, spiritual power. And we're going to have the... We're going to be like Brightburn. We're going to be like Brandon Bryce. We're going to be like Hancock. We're going to be like the Avengers. We're going to be like Thanos. We're going to be like Superman, Kyle L, all power, man. Okay? So these different things, right, because the Heavenly Father said, with thee will they break a nation's rope, all they tanks, and so on and so forth. I believe that's Jeremiah, the 50th or the 51st chapter, starting at around about the 20th verse, man. So these, these things that these are, you know... These things that these, oh, the scripture says that uh, in the book of Luke, I believe that's the, uh, I believe that's the, it might be the 10th chapter scripture talk about that uh, he give us power over the enemy, roughly paraphrasing, all right? And the scripture also says, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, because the Heavenly Father going to give us spiritual powers, man, all right? We're going to be like uh, Dr. Manhattan. If brothers ever seen the movie The Watchmen, we're going to be like you know, Dr. Manhattan, we're going to be many Yahweh shots, man. Okay? Guess who paid for all that? We did. They're going to be using our own fucking weapons against us. Right now, all of our shores are full of these shipping containers, ships. Guess what's in these containers? You think it's shit you bought from China? Full of guys standing right next to each other, right shitting themselves. They don't give a fuck. And they have one mission, and that is to slaughter us. That's right. And that's what the Heavenly Father put in these different heathen spirit, right? Oh, and the scripture talk about that in uh, the book of Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, that they're going to think of evil thought and they're going to go up to the wall of the, 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 the land of unwalled villages, roughly paraphrasing. And that's talking about America, man. Right. Because this place is it, it says uh, and I'm quoting scriptures. Like I said, I ain't going to bring any scriptures out in particular. I'm just quoting the scriptures. But scriptures talk about that. They're going to think an evil thought, man. And the scripture says in Revelation, uh, I believe that's what Revelation 11. Uh, the scriptures talk about the nations are angry and our wrath has come. So these nations are angry. They sick of uh, America policing the world. They sick of America Right. And who who when you speak about America, who is the face of America, the so-called white man? So they sick of these red Hebrew Edomites imposing their democracy. All right. And, um, you know, um, they, they're sick of these Edomites imposing their democracy upon their sovereign societies. man. OK, so these nations are angry. OK. And the Heavenly Father is putting that in a in a in a hearts, which the Hebrew word for heart is lop. Was go which is referring to your mind. The Heavenly Father is putting these thoughts into these devils, these heathens' mind to come up against you, uh, Edomites, because they have the same weaponry. They have more advanced technology than you Edomites do, man. Okay. And if you don't believe this, then you're crazy. Right. All you and the scripture says, "So what if some did not believe? Should their unbelief make the faith of the Heavenly Father without none effect?" Yahweh forbid, Romans the third chapter, man. So even if people don't believe, these things are still going to happen. These things are still going to come to pass, man. Because they're the prophecies, they're the words of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father said that his word shall not return unto him void, but they shall accomplish in that which he please. And what the Heavenly Father pleases in, the Heavenly Father pleases in beautifying his people. And who is the Heavenly Father's people? We say this week in and week out, man. Right, the people of the Heavenly Father are the Israelites, which consist of your Negroes, Latinos, Native, Seminole Indians, man. So that's what the Heavenly Father pleases in. The Heavenly Father take pleasure in destroying, right, the wicked, right. Anybody who's opposing the will of the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly, and, and the Scripture tell you who's opposing it, right. That's what you go into the word devil in the Latin, which goes back to the Latin word diablos, which means a man who, by opposing the will of the Heavenly Father, is said to act the part of the devil aside with him. So who's opposing the will of the Heavenly Father, right? And what's the will of the Heavenly Father? That righteousness be established. His word be established, man, right? 
the Heavenly Father be feared. That's the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Dude, let's look it up, man. They are fucking... They have a surrounded. Yeah, that's right. United... The scripture says, uh, let none thereof escape. So ain't nobody going to escape out of the swords of America it's, it's, except who? Except the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of Negroes, Latino, Native Samaritans, as well as Israelite foreigners, man, right? Whose lineage and bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the only ones who are going to be able to escape this up-and-coming destruction, man, okay? Right? And by way of what? By way of the chariots, right? The marakabium, right? In the Hebrew, right? Which is the, what these people ignorantly refer to as the UFOs or the UAPs, man. That's the only ones who are going to escape this up and coming destruction. Everybody else going to be turned to dust pursuant to uh, 2nd Ezra 13 chapter, man. Right? States is the last chance this world has for freedom. Once we fall, that's it. It'll never be the same again. Ever. That's right, man. Hey, once this place goes down, man, the earth isn't going to be, it, it's never going to be the same, right? People ain't going to be shaving their beards anymore, man. All right? Women ain't going to be whores and sluts. Men ain't going to be sodomites, man. People ain't going to be eating abominable uh, 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 food. People ain't going to be eating frogs. Right, like you Moabites, people ain't gonna be eating fucking bamboos and monkeys like you, like you Hamites, man. Right, people ain't gonna be eating shrimp, crab, and lobster, pig, pork chops, okay? Because all these different creations, they serve a purpose, man. And they're not for, they not delicacies. They're not meant to be for food, man. People ain't gonna be eating catfish and shit like that, man. People ain't gonna be eating uh, um, uh, uh, swordfish and you know clams. Okay, oysters. People not gonna be eating that, so it, it, of course it's not gonna be the same anymore. And even furthermore, it's not gonna be the same because what these Edomites they ain't gonna be in a position of authority no more. They ain't gonna be calling the shots anymore, right? They gonna return to their rightful position in the in the kingdom of heaven. Which what is their position? Their position is to serve, right? The Israelites, man, to be servants and the handmaids. Pursuant to Isaiah the fourteenth chapter. It's real easy solution to this problem. It's simple. Take these people who are in control out. <laughs> and that's what Yahweh is coming to do. He's coming to take these devils out of that seat of authority because that Yahweh Shai, uh is prophesied to do what? The scripture talk about he had many crowns upon his head. Revelations the 19th chapter go into it as well as Daniel the 7th chapter. Right? And we going and, and, and who else is going to be uh, accompanying the heavenly father Yahweh Shah, our Lord Yahweh Shah, man, the Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel. For the scripture said that what? The saints shall take the kingdom. So we're going to take these devils out of position of power. And pursuant to uh, the book of Psalms 149, I believe it is, uh, that bind their kings and their nobles with iron, with fetters of iron, roughly paraphrasing. So we're going to take them out of power and then we're going to put all you other heathens in, in subjection and, and slavery under us, man. So once we take out of the rule, once we take out the ruling class of Edomites and these other heathens, man, everybody is going into slavery under the Israelites, man. That's the only solution. That's the solution to the problem, man. Right. To get rid of the cancer of the earth, man. Right. That's the solution. To take down all you Edomites, man. Not just the elites of the nation of Edom, man. You, we got to take down all you Edomites and all you other heathens. That's the solution. Because if we don't uproot evil, right? Then what? If if, 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 if evil is not uprooted, it's going to be able to uh, uh, run its course again, man. So evil is going to be completely uprooted. Whether it's Edomites, the elect. Uh, Salakia, not the elect. I meant to say the elite, right? And all these other heathen nations, man. Okay? in jail or do whatever with them and put the one who really won back in charge oh wait, no who, reason wait, why who's that. the who's that who's supposed to be in charge of this planet earth right first and first and foremost yahweh he's gonna be back in charge man right right along with his heirs and who are the heirs right the israelites first and foremost the elect first and foremost the elect of the nation of israel the men all right the men women and children that's predestined for deliverance and salvation man right that's who the rightful ruler of this planet Earth is. The the our, our Lord Yahweh Shah as well as the Israelites, man. Okay. Can't happen. There's no reason. It can happen right now, and we can't wait. We don't have time. 
Right, yeah, you you don't have time, okay? You know, so, hey, man, with that, you know, I just wanted to touch on this quick little lesson. I pray this will edify, and I give all glory on and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Chachadash. Double honor to the apostle, that was a great millstone rule. Well, peace and salutation, blessing to the I can push this word, truth, sincerity, shalom, and waffle, boy.